Welcome to the ultimate guide to candlestick patterns episode 6. As I've already explained in previous episodes, candlesticks and candlestick patterns alone are useless and they must be used in conjunction with other tools and concepts in technical analysis for any trading decision. In previous episode, we examined candlesticks with support and resistance levels and in this episode, you will learn how candlesticks are used in conjunction with trend lines to identify changes in trends or entering a trade in the direction of trends. Stay tuned and let's get started. All right, here we go. First, let me explain trends very shortly. And after that, let's see how candlesticks can be used with trends and trend lines for identifying changes in trends or entering a trade in the direction of the trend. Trend is the direction of the market and it tells us which way the market is going, up or down. You can find trends in all financial markets. Actually, the market is always in three modes, uptrend, downtrend, and no trend. So it's really important to correctly identify trends to be able to enter a trade in the direction of the trend and also extremely important to identify changes in trends to realize when a trend is going to possibly stop or a new trend is potentially forming. In an uptrend, the price is generally increasing, but when we say increasing, it doesn't mean it increases straight all the way up and we see volatility and oscillation in the movement. Actually, it's called correction or retracement or pullback. The point is that the price must make higher highs and higher lows. In, in other words, each high must be higher than the previous high and each low must be higher than the previous low. As long as we have this condition, we say that the market is in an uptrend and if this condition doesn't hold, it means that the uptrend is weakening and the price may go to a trading range or no trend mode or we may have a reversal and the price may turn to a downtrend. And in a downtrend, the price is generally decreasing and to be a downtrend, the price must make lower highs and lower lows. In, in other words, each low must be lower than the previous low and each high must be lower than the previous high. If this condition doesn't hold, it means that the downtrend is weakening and the price may go to a trading range or no trend mode, or it may turn to an uptrend. The most basic and common way to identify trend is trend line, and other tools like moving averages, MACD, or some other indicators are also used for identifying trends. I have a video that I completely explain trends and trend lines, and I recommend you to watch it later if you don't know how to correctly identify and draw trend lines, because in this video, Video, we don't want to talk about trends or trend lines in details and the subject of this video is to examine how candlesticks and candlestick patterns are used in conjunction with trend and trend lines. Alright, getting back to this chart where we are in an uptrend and with some marked areas where the price is in the touching point of the trend line. Trend line in an uptrend acts as a support level and when the price gets closer to trend line, buying interest increases and on the other hand selling interest decreases and this means that demand becomes greater than supply and this causes the price to go higher and we see the price jumps and goes higher when it touches the trend line as we talked in previous episodes candlesticks and candlestick patterns show what happened between buyers and sellers in a period of time and who had the upper hand in that session so uh, they can help us in finding what could be the possible next move move. As you can see on this chart, we have some bullish candles and candlestick patterns near trend line. Here we have bullish engulfing, here cross doji, here hammer and another bullish engulfing forms here in the touching point of the trend line. When we have a bullish candlestick pattern near trend line, it means that buyers and sellers are reacting to the trend line. And this gives us a significant signal that the price is going to advance possibly. Having them together, I mean having a bullish candlestick pattern near a trend line in an uptrend gives us a higher probability that the price is going to jump because based on the bullish pattern, we have signs of increased buying pressure and this increased buying pressure is happening near a trend line, which itself, uh, the trend line is acting as a support level and prevents the price to go lower. And in a downtrend, the trend line acts as a resistance level and when the price gets closer to the trend line, 
selling interest increases and on the other hand buying interest decreases and this means that supply becomes greater than demand and this causes the price to fall and go lower when it touches the trend line as you can see some bearish candles and candlestick patterns formed on the chart near the trend line here a gravestone doji here bearish engulfing and another bearish engulfing here and a dark cloud cover formed here when we have a bearish candlestick pattern near trend line in a downtrend it means that the market participants are reacting to the trend line and this indicates that the price is possibly going to fall having a bearish pattern near this trend line gives us a significant signal that the price is going to fall because the bearish pattern tells us that we have increased selling pressure and we have this increased selling pressure near this trend line which it itself is acting as a resistance level and prevents the price to go higher. Another formation of candlestick patterns in conjunction with trends is for example when we are in an uptrend and the price is advancing and a bearish candlestick pattern forms on the chart. The bearish candlestick pattern shows increased selling pressure somewhere in the top and this gives the possibility for either a pullback or that the uptrend is weakening and it may stop and a change uh, in the direction of the price. For example here as you can see on this chart a bearish engulfing forms which shows increased selling pressure but again bulls take the control and a green candle same size with the with the engulfing candle appears and next we got evening star pattern uh, with this long red candle that shows significant selling pressure and after that as you can see the price goes to a consolidation on the trend line and runs on the trend line which is actually a support level and here on the touching point of the trend line another bearish engulfing forms and the engulfing candle which is a long red candle breaks the trend line pay attention that only having a bearish pattern following an advance doesn't mean that the trend is going to stop or reverse for example also here we have a bearish engulfing pattern but it only foreshadows selling pressure for the pullback and as long as that the trend line is not broken the price is considered to be in that uptrend we have similar situation for downtrends when the price is declining and a bullish candlestick pattern forms on the chart and it shows increased buying pressure either for a pullback or or we can say that there is a possibility that the downtrend may stop and a reversal may happen. All right, that's it. In this episode, we examined candlesticks and candlestick patterns in conjunction with trends, and you learn how they help you in identifying changes in the behavior of buyers and sellers near trend lines so that you get the opportunity to enter a trade in the direction of the trend or identifying changes in trend when it's weakening and it's going to change direction. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope it has been helpful for you if you found any value in this video please like it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos see you guys in next episode and good luck with your trading